Hi, my name is Michelle Ouellette with Affinity Consulting Group, and today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite features of NetDocuments, Collab Spaces, as shown here, because they make it easy and secure to share, communicate, and collaborate on documents with external users outside of my organization, all while maintaining control of what is specifically being shared. For example, I like to use Collab Spaces to safely share information with clients, as shown here, vendors, as shown here, or even third parties or outside counsel, as shown here. Ultimately, I prefer to use Collab Spaces to share information because not only is it easy to share documents while controlling who has access to that specific information, but it allows me to utilize folders and subfolders to enhance my organization. Let's take a look. I'm going to go into my client documents here. As we can see in the description, it's an estate planning matter, and I'm sharing this portal with, these doc with this client. And I've utilized different folders and subfolders to create organization. So in short, a collab space is similar to a folder belongs to or lives in a specific matter or workspace. So in this example, here is our specific workspace and can be utilized to create organized collections of documents that you wanna share with external users. They provide a safe and quick way to control access to collections or categories of matter specific documents and eliminate global access to all of your documents as shown here. Plus, you can create multiple collab spaces on the same workspaces for a variety of purposes or communication goals. Now, let me show you how quick and easy it is to create a new collab space. To get started, click the collab space tab from your workspace. This view will show us the current active collab spaces that have been created for this specific workspace or matter. I can utilize one of these already created collab spaces to add documents, or by selecting add collab space, I can instantaneously create a new collab space. Simply give it a name and a description, and it will be created automatically. To add documents to a collab space, it's almost just as easy. You can either click into the collab space where you want to upload documents and Take an approach similar to uploading a document to a folder or workspace in NetDocuments. Go to the Add, Upload button, and choose documents on your local machine. Or you can do it from the workspace itself. You can, from either the Summary view or the List view, locate the documents with which you want to share, select them, and from the More options, either move and copy these documents into the desired collab space or share externally into the specific collab space that you want to put these documents into. Additionally, you can control and manage security access from within the collab space itself. So for example, I'm choosing my client documents collab space that I've shared with my Jeff and Bunny Lebowski clients. And simply by going to the collab space name or title, selecting my dropdown and modifying access, I'm able to control who has access and to what level within my collab space. Lastly, locating a collab space within your net document system is super easy. Either by going to the workspace itself, selecting the collab space tab and seeing what collab spaces are created and active for that workspace specifically, or from your navigation pane, you will see them located here, marked by this familiar icon that is on not only just the collab spaces, but marking collab spaces that have been shared externally. This is just a super quick overview of how you can use a collab space to enhance your net documents experience. So if you are not currently using collab spaces or feel that you could learn additional tips to maximize how you're using this feature, please reach out to us at Affinity. We would love to work with you to optimize your collab space use and improve your daily collaboration and communication workflows.